Well, it's been a while since we've seen him, and it's the first time we've actually got to get him on Drew's Dozen. We're doing 12 questions with rookie outside linebacker Jonathan Grenard. Let's start here, Jonathan. What are your nicknames? Oh, man. Uh, from John, JG, uh, Johnny Boy, Johnny G. Uh, I'm a Q, so they call me Q Dog. I mean, it's, it's a lot of stuff, but I mean, 52, 5, 2, whatever number it was, you know, they, they call me. You got seven right there off the bat. That's pretty quick. I like it. Do you do you most do most people just call you John though? Is that the, the main one? Well the main one, so uh everybody calls me John. My family, my mom, she only like my immediate family really the only ones that call me Jonathan. Um yeah. if she calls me by my full name, you know, it's a little it's a joke we have. It's like a, a John Thin, and that's what my sister and brother called me. But my mom, she said John nothing and explains a whole lot, I know I'm in trouble. So uh <laughs> I know that that's that's the one I don't want to hear. Yeah, and you never ever want to hear your first name and your middle name, do you? And the middle that's, name. <laughs> that's when things get really bad. You've you've messed sure. up. Okay, <laughs> uh, what are some things in your personal like personal life that you like to get complimented on? Oh man, um, I think it's just about more time like what type of person I'm off the field. You know, on that field, I think they see the mean and the anger and the, the, the excitement, and enthusiasm that I have, and um, and how I talk to people out there, and then they they kind of see me outside. You know, I'm kind of just a real, uh, a laid back, funny guy, chill, just want to make jokes all the time. And they, they're kind of surprised by that. So just how, how I care myself, um, I would definitely say that. Um, I think other besides that, I would say uh, how, how, how well spoken I am sometimes. I mean, they kind of just wouldn't expect um, myself to just come out and, and know the things I do. I mean, I did go to college for once, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would at least give me that benefit of the doubt. And you can sing a little bit, can't you? Yeah, as I can sing, but that's the thing. I don't. Nobody would know that unless they would actually just hear me singing around the house stuff like that. But yeah, I could sing a little bit too. You sang well enough that you kind of won a competition back in the day, didn't you? What's the story? Yeah, so that? I was, I was kind of. Um, so I was. I wish I won. I won, I won the uh, part that got me to the big one. So yeah, yeah. I pretty much I consider that as a, a good victory. So yeah, I was about in, uh, seventh, eighth grade, I believe. Um, we had a, a singing competition at McDonald's, uh, and I was and basically had to go against guys and girls and, and my uh, group my age group where I'm singing against these all over the state of Georgia. Um, and I made it down to the final, um, I think final 12 and um, ended up, I, came, I didn't place, but I know just getting there alone in itself was huge. I mean, there was so many kids that showed up. I think it was about nearly over three to 400, 500 kids that showed up and I was finally, I was chosen out of those. What was the song? My song that I sung, uh, it's called, it's a praise on the inside by J Moss. So it was a, um, it's a song I was a I was used to be able to sing that song when I was with my voice a little bit higher back then, um, <laughs> but it was definitely that song. And then I had another song about him as well. Um, it was called "We Must Praise" that I actually sung in the actual official competition, um, which which I did pretty good. I was still one of my dear favorites today. All right, are you still singing uh, from time to time now, or do you kind of keep it under wraps in the locker room? Yeah, I kind of keep it under wraps, but I think what it is now is kind of no hiding it. So I kind of myself, I you hear a song might be playing, and I might just start hearing, humming that tune a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, like I said, at this point, uh, people should know by now that I do sing, you know, if they don't, then that's just another surprise I can just uh, surprise them with. All right. Well, the linebackers on this team can harmonize because inside linebacker, Zach Cunningham has got a heck of a voice as well. So yeah. I'm sure you found that out or heard about that. Yeah. So you guys I did. Be, I did. get you guys together on a duet sometime. Uh, when, <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> when the winds keep coming. So how about that? All right. All right. All right. Three people that you are not related to that you'd like to eat a dinner with. Who are they? Oh man, uh, Denzel first of all, okay. um, Barack Obama. Okay. Um, and this one more. Uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna. Go, I want to meet Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. Okay, that's not a bad one. Yeah, the the first couple and maybe the greatest actor uh, living. That's that's about that's not, not in my opinion. What's your favorite Denzel movie? Oh uh, man, Training Day is it's tough to beat. Yeah. Training Day is tough to beat. It's tough. It's a good choice. Okay, who's your favorite retired NFL player? Oof, Mr. Dwight Franey. Really? Okay. How come? Uh, I, I like. I've known him when I first seen him because you gotta think I didn't start playing defensive defensive line. I played a little bit in high school, um, but I never truly was a defensive guy. I was always a receiver, tight end, stuff like that. So I didn't watch D line film until I got pretty much to college. So my freshman year of uh, college, that's when I first started watching individuals, and I seen him, and I was always known. He was always known for that notorious spin move. And I started to implement that, just trying to learn how. He's the first. He's the person that really taught me how to make my first spin move. Um, I never knew how to do it, just getting the footwork down and understand how to set it up. 
And he was just so good at, you know, going with one move, one move, one move to, to, to lure you to sleep. And then all of a sudden he comes with the spin move and the ice pick. So when I first seen that, I said, I got to learn that. And then that was one of the first, like, moves that I can say because side swiping your regular ones are the, the generic, the basic one that they teach you in individual, but to actually learn how to do a pass rush, a spin move and set it up. It was the first person I seen that I was like, okay, I got to try this. And I bet a lot of those spin moves that you saw from him were against the uh, Texans because the Texans had to see him. Oh, right the the oh man. It was. <laughs> hey, times when you, saw him. Can't be, you can't be mad to uh, <laughs> take a, to take a L on man. No, no. And you know, a guy who did not take too many was Dwayne Brown. Once he came around, Dwayne Brown. He yeah, held his sure. he held his own against Dwight Freeman. Still going strong. Still oh, yeah. going strong. Yeah, he sure is. Well, what's a sure. show you loved when you were a little kid? What what'd you watch a lot? Oh man. Uh so I was, you know, Rocket Power, um, you know, the the little bills. When I came home from school, you know, I was uh I, I just hit the point where there was blue schools, little bill. Um, I'm on PBS kids watching Caillou, the stuff like that, SpongeBob. I watched all that any any childhood uh show you can think of, I watched it. I was I was on all of those. All right, what are you watching these days? What are your favorites? Oh man, uh, so I hardly watch TV anymore. But if I do, if I if we get a morning, I probably try to catch First Take or um, you know uh, Skip and Shannon. I like to watch those shows just to, just to see where their minds are, pick their brains a little bit, and you know, just hear different perspectives on different things. You know, they might not be the greatest at times, but I kind of tune all that out. Just listen to how they're how they're going back and forth. That's cool. Uh, would you rather be a dragon or own a dragon? Hmm, I'd rather be a dragon. How come? That? I can't. I can't control him. <laughs> if he starts to just open fire and breathe fire on me, so um, if I can do all the uh, control everything and I can have people fear me, then I definitely have more I want. What's the last thing you cooked? The last thing I cooked was some tuna fish. If that if that cook if that if that if that, if that falls in that category. But if we're actually talking about cooking, I made some chicken the other, other night, so I, I, I can I do that part. You've cooked in the last week, and I consulted the judges. They all said, yeah, you, the tuna will count, so we'll, we'll give you that yeah, one. Yeah, I'll uh, tell you something. Okay, last thing. Describe to me, and I don't know if you're going to get to do it or not because you're playing on the road this Thursday. Don't know what, you know what time you get back. But in a normal year, the perfect Thanksgiving plate for you is, when you go through that line, what's on it? So I'm going to have two plays, actually. Uh, <laughs> that counts. I got, I got my turkey and my hams. The chicken, I always had to have that off on on the first plate. Um, my sides, now I me, mean, I'm not a person that I'm not. I don't have OCDs. If they want to touch and they want to mingle around, but I have my dressing and my 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 mac and cheese and collard greens touching. Do what y'all want to do. Y'all all going <laughs> in the same place. So, um, mac and cheese, greens, dressing with cranberry sauce, uh, some cream corn. Um, you can have it. We have dinner rolls. So if you want to put cornbread, do what you want. And my auntie was always known for making. A chocolate cake. So um, having that chocolate cake on the side, uh, hopefully I can get hint hint if we she see that she can get me a a, a chocolate cake mailed down to me. Uh, but yeah, that's they gotta have those two. Got to have those two plates right there. Well, Jonathan Bernard, thanks so much for the time. Happy Thanksgiving, and yeah, I'm with you, man. I hope your aunt gets that chocolate cake to you. You deserve it, man. It's uh, everybody's yeah. kind of apart this year. It's tough. Right. I mean, even the people that aren't playing football games on Thanksgiving Day aren't going to be – many of them aren't going to be with their family. So uh, I All hope right. you get that chocolate cake, my friend. For sure. Hopefully. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right. Take care, John Grenard. All right. Thank you all for having me.